When we set out to build something, we make sure it stands for something, that it's a catalyst for ongoing transformation and a model of sustainability for the future. And if you're building that project right in the heart of one of the world's great innovation cities, you certainly don't take the obvious route. You think beyond. You embrace the unknown and go where nobody else ever has, in search of new ways to hold yourself responsible to your city, its citizens, and our planet. With Winthrop Center, once we committed to thinking beyond, we had a challenge on our hands. We had to create our own roadmap and dream big. Doing the right thing meant going all in, even if it had never been done before, especially if it had never been done before. In Winthrop Center's quest to create something against which all future office buildings would be measured, we went right to the birthplace of the Passive House movement, the science and technology capital of Germany. The culmination of this journey was to dig in with the Passive House team in Darmstadt. After all, this was their baby, their passion. They'd have to completely reimagine Passive House standards for an office building of this size and scale. Would they embrace the idea? Winthrop Center is one of the largest projects, largest developments that's happening at the moment around the world. My first thought was, that's really great. It's like uh, the biggest Passive House building we had so far, and so I was really excited about it. There are many aspects we have to consider in the Winthrop Center. The internal heat gains, the shading, the air tightness, and also the size. Passive House certification specifies a process that is simple but elegant. Build a high-performance envelope to create an airtight seal so the energy footprint from the mechanical systems are immediately and dramatically reduced by the facade. The best part is you achieve the healthiest, most comfortable interior office climate year-round. With Boston's unpredictable weather, it's a challenge to achieve year-round thermal comfort using predominantly passive heat sources. And this will be three quarters of a million square feet of office space. So now, there was one more thing to consider back in Boston, the cost. At MP Boston, we consciously made the decision to invest in the Passive House. Making this kind of investment makes us leaders. That's our responsibility. That's the right thing to do. If we don't do it, who will? In the end, Winthrop Center's journey of discovery became a pilot study that would transform the very definition of sustainable building for today and beyond. Passive House changes everything. As a building, Winthrop Center is about to do the same. Not just in Boston, but around the world.